All right, boys, I got the manicure out here. Now, this video here is for salt beach hunters. You might want to look at this, okay? Sharpshooter's never hunted a salt beach in his damn life. Okay. You could get some benefit here. I don't know how the salt water, how, what it does to the iron. I know it makes it pretty reactive. Okay, now, in the salt water, you would probably be running beach surf and seawater. That's what I'm in right here. With a recovery speed of four. 21 sensitivity. Okay, now. Upper Ferris limit's four. Let's say you decided you was going to try to run this machine out in the water like that. You see that gold ring and that nail right there? Well, you're all right from this way. But from this way right here, you are S-O-L. You see that? So, I've opened this machine up. Upper Ferris Limits Custom. I've got it opened up at 65. what that thing does on that coming down that barrel of that nail I'm gonna pick the gold ring up okay now you're gonna pick up a pull ring in that position too okay some other trash but the fact is you get something there to make you curious and you can always rotate okay listen for the audio and watch the screen I'm not saying this will even work. I'm just letting you know you might consider it. Around some of them piers, areas with more iron, you might decide to try it. Now, in the wet salt sand, different program. You know, I'm a little familiar with what you can run on this machine. Beach low conductors. So you could have some iron in wet salt sand. I'm at speed four, okay. And I'm at custom one. And what I've done with it is I've opened it up at 69, okay. This probably has a higher chance of being successful versus what I showed running this machine in the water, but I'm unsure. On land, running all-terrain low conductors, this works nicely. I can vouch for that, okay? So on dry sand, you could even run the machine in all-terrain low conductors. Open it up at 69, okay? Now, I'm in ultra, uh, beach low conductors. You hear that? You see where that machine's reporting? Again, you can rotate when you get that. You see what you got. Now there is some call high here. Alright. Now I'll remove the gold ring. I'm still in beach low conductors. I've still got that custom set in. You see what happens on that old gnarly looking nail there. See where it's at? No audio. Match the horseshoe button. Iron tone. No ring is back in there. Now I can move this go ring. I can even move it right there. See that? Okay, now I'm going to go back in here to. I'll change upper ferris limits to four. Beach low conductors. See there? You can miss that gold ring right there. I don't know what kind of depth you get on this. You can try it, experiment. You can always, you know, if you don't like it, just remember when this machine reports, I'll move this gold ring, I'll move it over here. See it over there? I'm gonna go back to my preset. Opened up at 69. See where it reports up there? So if you're out in the wild, you 
get that signal and you see it up there, well, it's telling you maybe you want to rotate. Okay. Like I said, I'm not hunting a saltwater beach. I know this machine, there is maybe some potential there that could up your odds depending. Now, some beaches, maybe they don't have a lot of iron on them, nails. I don't know. I just shared that, okay? That's going to conclude the video.